Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading now for the end of March. This is for the last week of March, maybe the beginning of April. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see whatever comes up. I'm going to get one of these oracle cards and then I will break into that tarot deck right there. Ooh. There we go. We will reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Nope, they don't want to shuffle. This is for Capricorn. I want to remind you that it is Mercury retrograde in the past may be coming back to haunt you. Just saying. Things may be amiss. Electronics may not be working well. It looks like you guys are, you know on the verge of starting a new phase, okay? Um, ending something, some sort of sorrow. Perhaps you've been going through some grief or you've been hurt really, really badly, you know, but it looks like that storm is over and you should be, you know, on the mend and starting to, you know, <coughs> consider a new beginning at least, consider it, right? But see, here there's a lack of confidence, a lack of courage, a lack of strength, this is also a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be the person that um, hurt you. But this is a completion. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Yeah, it's like you guys are probably bringing back some structure to your life. Um, I want to make sure this is zoomed in. Yeah, I think that this is the person that left you out in the cold. This is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If they haven't actually left you out in the cold, you may be feeling like they're not communicating with you. They're not putting any energy into a relationship. Or they're actually gone now. They've already left the relationship. But whatever it is, you know, it was very disappointing. Okay? It is. Whoever this person was that hurt you... Um, they have left you feeling very disappointed, at a loss, unhappy, um, and you may be stuck, unable to move forward from this person, but it was unrealistic. It looks like this person, um, you, they may have criticized you a lot and misjudged you and, you know, they, they, they inhibited your forward momentum believe it or not you may not see it like that but they 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 weren't helping you to move forward in life even though you may not see it that way but anyhow I feel like you might have a new opportunity in love but you're unable to move forward as well because of this past heartache that you are so close to getting over but you haven't quite gotten over it you know, I feel like you've been hurt really badly by somebody and, you know, it's hard to let that shit go, right? It is. But you are being called to really focus on your future, all right? Be patient. It takes time to heal. Um, everything that you're going through is happening for a reason. And I feel like you guys are bringing structure back to your life after somebody disappointed you greatly, okay? It feels like... Um, you know, you have a new opportunity, but you may not even be seeing it. I think that you have an opportunity for a new beginning with someone with the World card and the Two of Cups, but you may not be seeing it because you're still concentrating on the loss that this person has made you feel, okay? You've been through some sort of serious sorrow, heartache, grief, and now I feel like you are, you know... You're unable to move forward in, in love with somebody else because 
you know, of these fears. Okay, but let me get this zoomed in before we go any further. So this is for the last week of March. Now the Two of Cups is a partnership. It, with next to the world, it's like you've learned a lesson, you have, okay? One lesson has been learned. Whoever this person was that was overly critical, okay? I think you were with somebody that was very critical. Um, you know, don't take that with you, all right? Let me get some more cards. Yeah, it's, it's over. You need to release it. You need to release this pain. Okay? The worst is over. It's the end of that depressing time. It is. It's time to close that door. Nines are closure. This is mental. Close that door to mental conflict. Okay? Because you have a new opportunity for wish fulfillment. You do. You do. You have a new opportunity for wish fulfillment with somebody else that could really, really make you happy. You know, but you need to take action right now. This is act now, think later. Okay, take action right now in regards to this new prospect. Okay, it's time for you to begin again. This is a transformation. With endings bring new beginnings, okay? So whoever this person was that hurt you really bad, you know, that's over. It is over. And you have an opportunity for a new beginning with somebody else. That's what it looks like to me. It looks, you know, this is a this is a new beginning. That's what the death card is. It's a, it's not an actual death of a person. It's a death of an idea. So you know, whatever needs to go, just just let it go. That was a karmic lesson that it's over now. It's time for you to start the next chapter, the next phase of your life. And I have to tell you, it leads to wish fulfillment. But you must take action. Take action. There's also a sexual attraction here. Okay, but you need to seriously make the decision to move on. It's in your hands. No, no more playing games with the past. Okay, it's time to drop the past. Let it go. Okay, this is an ex. You're still worried. You're still worried. You're still thinking about an ex. Now, this is a man or a woman. Doesn't really matter. This is represents an X in your life that is holding you back from moving on. Okay, but it is time to move on. This is the moving on card. It's time to bring peace and harmony back to your life. It's a tra time of transition. Okay, it is. With the death card and the six of swords, it is a time of transition where... You know, you don't bring the past with you. Everything that happened, happened for a reason. That less, a lesson was learned from this. It was. And I, what it was is I think that you've been cheated. You've been robbed. And so now it's hard to trust, right? With this two of pentacles right here. It's like, I feel like you feel like you can't trust anybody. There's a lack of trust here. I, you may have an opportunity for a new love or a new partner, but I don't trust. I'm not sure I can trust anybody at this time because whoever this person was, and I think it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, could be an uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Whoever this person was, they really, they like robbed you. They did. They like robbed you. They stole from you, you know, or they took from you. They betrayed you. They lied to you. And so it's hard to trust anybody else, right? It's time to ha it's hard to have faith and trust in somebody after you have been taken for a ride. You know, so you may be feeling like you can't lo offer love to anybody at this time because you just don't trust. So you could miss an opportunity that could lead to wish fulfillment. Okay? Cuz I feel like whoever this person is that is offering you something they have a lot to give if you would let them. But the thing is, is, is you're afraid. You're afraid of being attacked. You're being afraid. You are afraid of being taken advantage of because of the unfair treatment that you have had in the past. I think you've dealt with somebody who is mentally or verbally abusive and manipulative. And so, you know, they can point the finger at you all they want, but I think you were dealing with a narcissist. Okay, and that's what a narcissist does is they point the finger at the other person. So I feel like you have somebody from your past, maybe that you went to school with, 
that has that you're thinking about or will enter your life or has entered your life but you lack the ability to trust anybody at this time you know and it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but you're suspicious right you're very suspicious of this person now this could be you this could be you at, at being very suspicious of everybody that enters your life and feeling like, you know what, I'm only, I can only concentrate on my finances and my job at this time because I really don't trust a soul. You know, but the thing is, is it's time to, to seriously accept the truth of this matter. Not everybody is your ex. Not everybody is going to hurt you like that person did. Not everybody is going to use you. Okay, it's time to accept the truth of this situation, okay, and take the blindfold off and stop procrastinating and let somebody else into your life. It's like there's so much unability to let go here when you really need to let go. Okay, so it's, it's time for you to free yourself from whoever it was that is holding you back and you have the ability to do that Capricorn this is your energy it is I feel like you have been tempted by somebody else a new person but because you don't trust you can't move forward this is temptation okay and I also think that this with the two of cups under here there is a new person that has come into your life that could be a soulmate because this is a soulmate connection with the two of cups and the six of cups there could be somebody that you've known for a long time that could be it this is from your childhood okay somebody from your childhood that you went to school with that is interested in you but the thing is is you're not happy you're not happy right now so if you're not happy, it's hard to offer anything to anybody, right? It's like I can't offer any romance and love to anybody because I haven't seriously let go of this hurt. And, you know, you're being offered a new passionate, exciting beginning, a new partner, a new sexual partner. And I think this is somebody that you've known from when you were younger. Okay, this is somebody that you went to school with. That's what I think with that Six of Cups. And there's a strong, strong bond here with this person. There is. And there's a strong sexual connection as well. With this card, we have the Knight of Pentacles under there. And this card, there's a, there's a magnetic attraction between you and another person. But because this past is haunting you, and it is Mercury, Mercury retrograde, so that's what's happening here. You're unable to offer any sort of romance or relationship to this person at this time, even though there's temptation here. But the thing is, is that you have the power. This is also communication. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Okay? This is a gift from God. This is the truth. You are, I think you're being offered... A new partner that is honest truthful and passionate but and you're tempted I see that you're tempted but you can't you don't trust yeah you're, you you're just so worried that maybe you think you're not good enough this is lack of self-esteem lack of self-confidence and lack of self-respect you know, and you feel like everybody that comes across your path has a hidden agenda. So you may lose out on a dream come true. Your insecurities. This is your insecurities could cause a loss with that four of cups, a lost opportunity, I think, with another earth sign. Okay, because we have two, I think it's another earth sign. Could be earth sign, could be any sign because they're out here. But I think your your loss of trust, your loss, loss of faith, your self-doubt, your 
lack of self-confidence at this time because of somebody that hurt you so badly and used you so much is you could lose an opportunity of wish fulfillment. It's like you are throwing away a dream come true. Where this person that, this new person wants, is, is a team player. This is teamwork. This person is a team player. But you'd be so afraid of being taken advantage of. Again, you're, you're, you've got these huge fears. Huge, huge fears of letting buddy, anybody into your foundation. Expanding with anybody. They're just going to use me. They're just going to use me. But the fact of the matter is, is your awareness is, is flawed. Okay? You're only deceiving yourself. I think that, you know, it's, it's time to make some compromises. And have some fun. Let your friends help you. Go out and have some fun. Celebrate this independence. Look at this as a time of inspiration. And end that contract with that person that has caused you so much mental conflict and hurt and disappointment. Make the final decision to restore balance and harmony in your life. Go out and have some fun. Celebrate your independence. End that contract once and for all because you have an opportunity with somebody else. That's what I see. So I feel this week is a week of actually letting go of the past. Letting go of this person that used you. Because I think that you have an opportunity with someone else. <coughs> this is a Taurus that could lead to a solid commitment. But you have to believe in yourself and you have to have faith in the future. So I feel like this is a week where Mercury ret retrograde brings up all these feelings of the past, brings up the feelings of hurt. And as you're feeling that hurt, I think there's somebody else <coughs> that is tempting you. And you're, you're tempted. <coughs> I'm sorry, I gotta take a drink. You're really, really tempted by this person. There's a strong, strong magnetic attraction because I think it's a soulmate connection with the cards that we have. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Lovers. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Devil. There's a soulmate connection here. And you could miss it because you don't trust. But anyway, I feel like, you know, there's an opportunity for a new solid commitment beginning exciting passionate with somebody and I think it's an earth sign I really do but it could be any sign but you have to be open and let go of this past hurt and not bring it with you you ready seek the power of spirit exists in all things Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your spiritual world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one, one another. I think you have a soulmate connection here and it's a new person, but you, you don't see it because of this past.
I think you need with with this card and the Knight of uh, Wands under here. Take action and in an Ace of Swords, communicate. You are being given the power to communicate with somebody. The truth, the truth, the truth of the matter is, is that you have somebody else. Don't fester on this person that broke you. You have somebody new, and I think it's a soulmate connection. I think it's somebody that you know already that you went to school with or somebody from your hometown, something like that. Somebody that you know already, and I don't think it's somebody, it could be somebody that you dated, but in most cases, I don't think that's the case. And you may start out as friends. It may be one of your friends, but I think this is, or maybe this person that was just acquaintances or friends when you were kids, I don't know. But I think this is something from, you know, with the Six of Cups and these three, when children, I could often consider these children when you were children. I don't know. I think this has something to do with childhood and uh, reconciliation with the Two of Cups that could possibly happen. But I think this is somebody that you probably haven't dated before. But it could lead to a firm, solid commitment. And this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Talk to you later.